Yo, what's up guys, Dan in here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make the best Fortnite montages. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you which effects you should use and give you some presets. Then I'll show you how to use velocity, and at the end, I'm gonna show you some whoosh sound effects. So the first thing you guys wanna do is have your shot synced up with the beat of the song, like this. And then we go into the effects. So the first one I like to use is brightness and contrast. And you wanna drag in very bright, just drag it on your clip and make this the brightness down to zero and now you want to animate it just click this little like clock thingy and now you want to place a keyframe on your shot on your marker just like this and then press the left arrow key once so you get one frame back and just place another keyframe and have another one right at the end of the clip like this so you want to have three and now you want to go on the one you placed on your beat and drag that up to like the brightness to 0 0.25 so you see there's like brightness it goes like like this then you see there is a brightness, so it should look like this. So the second effect I like to use is called BCC Lens Blur. So for this you want to have the BCC plugins, so you can just look it up and download it, it's pretty simple. And you want to drag, I'll show you my preset. So you want to have the iris scale down to zero, you're going to drag it up later. You want to have both of those, the X and Y, 100, and the gamma to max, okay? And then you want to animate this as well, and have the same keyframes as you did with the brightness. So you want to have one on the beat, one one frame before, and one at the end, like this. So you want to go to the keyframe on your beat, and just drag the iris scale up to 5, like this. And you see there is a little, like, blur. And this should look like this. So the next one we're going to use is S-Shake. So for this, you need the software plugin, so you just... You're gonna look it up, just like you're gonna do with the BCC plugin, and we're gonna drag. Um, we're gonna do this. Um, this preset. So you wanna have the amplitude and the frequency down to zero. You wanna animate both of them right now, and you wanna have the same keyframes. You wanna have one on your beat, another one one frame before, and you wanna have the last keyframe like 30 to 40 frames after those. And now you wanna go to the one on your beat and have the amplitude to like 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and the frequency between 1 to 2, something like this and then it's gonna look like this so now we're gonna add pinch and punch which comes with sunny vegas, you don't need to download it I think you're gonna drag in maximum pinch and it's gonna start um, minus 1, so you're gonna set that back to 0 you wanna press animate right here and you wanna have one keyframe again on your shot, on your beat one keyframe to the left and then go like press the left arrow like 15 to 20 times so go like 15 frames to the left and you have another keyframe right here now you wanna make this the one before your beat you're gonna set this to um, the lowest you can have to minus one and you can see it's gonna make this cool like zoom in effect you can see it's like going in then going out on your shot so it's gonna look something like this so what we're gonna add now is blur mo curves which also come with the sapphire plugin so time blur mo curves and just drag in whatever preset you have my presets i think they're in um the normal preset so it doesn't matter but if not you can copy this and what you want to do is you want to animate the z disk like this and again, you want to have um, one um, one keyframe on your beat, one keyframe to the left, and the last keyframe you want to have right where you have the last shake um, keyframe. So it's like this. You see, there's the shake keyframe and there's the blur mode keyframe. They sync up. And then you want to go to the um, the one on your beat and just set that to between 0 0.85 to 0 0.9. They both look good. I like 0 0.9 more. And as you can see, it's gonna do a little like screen pump, which which is kind of like a zoom in. See, my screen goes in, like this. And that's how it's gonna look. It's not that noticeable when you watch, but when you watch it without it, you're gonna notice the difference. It, it just, it blends in like, well. So now that we're done with effects, I'm gonna go over um, velocity. So you wanna right-click your clip, and press insert slash remove envelope. You press on velocity. Now what you wanna do is you wanna double tap this green line, because this is the velocity, and it's gonna add like a, a dot. Now drag that over to your marker and set that back to normal. And now from this, you want to click the left arrow five times and have a keyframe like a dot, five frames to the left, like this. And you want to do the same thing to the right. So just have another dot, like five keyframes to the right, like this. And now you want to have the middle one, the one on your shot, on your mark. You want to have that to like 350 to 400, something like this. 
As you can see, it trades like a little. It goes up, then goes down. It's gonna zoom in. Oh, by the way, I forgot. You have to disable resample. I forgot about this. So what you want to do now is you see this little line. You want to right-click this and set that to slow slow fade, and click the other one and set that to fast fade. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to go to the last um, dot you have and set that to 50%. So it just slows down. And it's gonna look like this. So the last thing I'm gonna go over is whoosh sound effect. So you wanna have a new layer and just drag your whoosh sound effect. I'm gonna link this below so you can download it. And what I like to do is you wanna just adjust it. And I like to just fade this in and then fade it out. And have like the middle of it, like right here or something. Have it on your shot. So it just, it goes up, then it goes like out. As you can hear, it's like there is a, an extra bass. It sounds really cool. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. And let me know in the comments what I should teach you guys next. And make sure to like and subscribe and turn notifications on. And peace.